Hey everyone! Well today I wanted to show you guys this rather interesting vehicle in Ford's lineup. This is my first time driving it. It's literally my first time actually sitting in it and like looking around it. This is a, two, a brand new 2012 Ford Transit Connect. Now it's a rather interesting vehicle in Ford's lineup because um, this one's actually the wagon so it does have the back seat and the tinted windows and glass in the back. But it's also the fact that this car is pretty much old Ford on the inside. You know, even under the hood, it's got it's got the old Focus's two-liter four-cylinder with 140 horsepower and just a four-speed automatic transmission. And uh, as you can see, it's a pretty ugly-looking car. But I mean, this car isn't supposed to be designed for looks. It's supposed to be designed to carry your crap or people. Now, um, I actually have sold one of these before. A guy who was in a band actually bought the wagon version, which is the one with the back seats, um, to replace his old aging caravan. And the reason why people do pick these is because they are smaller than the than the E-Class or the E-Series vans, and they do get much better gas mileage. I'll show you guys the sticker price. twenty two twenty seven is your MPG, which isn't that bad considering this is a big box on wheels. And the sticker is 25180. This one's actually a more top-of-the-line model. I mean, there aren't very many options available, but this one does have the reverse sensing system, floor mats, heated windshield defroster. But, yeah, you can see this one does have the old 2-liter engine from the old Focus. I'm pretty sure the architecture is actually probably similar to the old Focuses. They just stretched it. Um, and, I mean, this thing, what it really could use, I mean, driving it around here, it is sluggish. But, I mean, this kind of vehicle doesn't really need that much power. But it could use, if Ford put one the, the new 1.6 EcoBoost in this thing, it would be really nice with a 6-speed automatic. Uh, it's rather interesting because I saw that the, where this car is built, the engine and transmission actually comes from Germany, and it's built in Turkey. So not really, it does actually, there's no parts or contents that come from the U.S. It's got a weird chime. That's, no other Ford has this chime. And here's the interior. So you can see there's a lot of headroom in there because of that. This chime's really irritating. At least they did give you an armrest here. Oh, and here's the key. Kind of reminds me of the Fiesta a little bit. That looks really cheap to me. I can't stand that ignition insert. You can see all the, the grease that's in it as well. Sounds just like the old Focus, and there's the old Ford head unit. At least this one does have the chrome around it. Now, in terms of dashboard materials, it's all hard plastic, as is expected. It's a little bit flimsy there, you can push into it. But this is a, a, work, a work van, you don't really expect it to be nice in terms of materials. The steering wheel looks like it came off an old Ford Freestar, or Ford Freestyle, whatever you call it. The door panels are all hard plastic right here, and I'm a little disappointed that the plastic right here is very chitsy and cheap, and they should have made this padded because your arm goes right there. It does have cruise control, no steering wheel audio controls, and that shifter looks like it came out of the first generation Focus. And your window controls are actually down here, which the window is automatic down on the driver's side, but not auto up. Power mirrors are over there. I mean, it's a pretty basic car in here really much in terms of features to show you. The chime is really irritating. It definitely sounds like the old Focus engine. It has a limiter about 3500 RPM. Anyways, let's pop the hood. If I could find it. <clears throat> Where is the hood release? That's a good question. I can't find the hood release. There's your OBD2 thing right there. Um, wow, this has never happened before, guys. I can't find the hood release. I mean, literally, when I do my videos, I'm literally doing them for the first time. I don't rehearse them or anything. But I've never been able to find the hood, I, a hood release in a car before. And I can't find the hood release. But whatever. Probably not much to see under there anyways. Here's the back seat. The door opens huge, hugely, and the space is pretty good. I mean, I'm and there's no third row in here, which I'm surprised. I feel like it should have a third row, but this one just doesn't. And look at that. I can actually stand up in here. Like, I'm actually standing up right now, and my head actually clears it. That's pretty cool. I'm surprised there's no third row. This does fold down, and there you can see there's cargo space right back. There's no, there's no carpet. It's just... 
final. And I'm surprised there's no third row in this car. This transit are weird vehicle. No power doors, of course, either. And you have two windshield wipers in the back over here, and you have a split folding opening. I mean, it's like a cargo van back here. No insulation whatsoever. It's padded right here. I'm surprised for that. Yeah, it's weird how there's no third row in here. I thought these things had a third row when you actually made it a wagon. See, it's got these 15 inch steel wheels. Um, 205-65 R15 tires. They look like they came right off of a Focus. Here's from the other side. I mean, the space in here is just pretty impressive. And that headroom is insane. You do have a little bit of storage up there. I'm not sure what I would put up there. But I mean, at least they give you the option of the storage and whatnot. The seat does fold back over here. And I can't believe I can't find the hood, the hood release. Like, am I missing something over here? There's got to be a hood release in here somewhere. That's embarrassing if I can't find the frickin' hood release. Wanna see... Maybe it's up at the front? I mean, you have to release it somewhere first. But anyways... This one is a little bit low on gas. Anyways, I'll take you guys on a little quick, quick little test drive. I mean, right off the bat, I can tell this car just feels really sluggish. It's kind of sad how sluggish it is, honestly, but it's not really designed to be a fast car. It's not supposed to be a fast car, <laughs> but it really could use more power, especially when you're hauling stuff. And the dashboard design is pretty decent. Let's get some hair in here. And these, wow, look how big these are. Except there's no mirror, and that is weird right there. That's very weird. Come on, dude. Get going. I hate that when you have to take a right and there's somebody blocking your way. I mean, I haven't seen that Ford hair stereo head unit in a long time. Actually, maybe the Ranger had it, had it but um, I don't know. It's, it'll be interesting to see how Ford updates the Transit Connect. I know Ford is supposed to be replacing the E-Series with the Transit, just the Ford Transit. Come on, dude. Get out of the way. There we go. <laughs> I mean, see, you can see this thing just struggles to get up to, to speed. It's kind of sad, actually. <laughs> but, um, it actually has a pretty decent ride. It's not as boat-like as you think, and it has a really good view of the road. The steering is not bad. I mean, driving this thing is a lot easier than driving those, those cargo vans. Those cargo vans are terrible to drive. But, all Ford needs to do, really, is just update the powertrain give it a little bit uh, more tech in here but uh, thanks for watching guys if you're in the market for the transit connect um, like if you need something like this I definitely would suggest taking a look at it taking a look at it uh, it might surprise you but uh, thanks for watching guys have a great day